Well, welcome back to Houston Life. Spring is in the air, which means it is time to freshen up your decor. And luckily, we have master gardener Rhonda Kaiser. She is known for her beautiful tablescape and her decorating skills. We're lucky to have her back in Studio B. She's got an easy DIY project using pillar candles, Rhonda, some pressed flowers. Welcome back to Houston yes. Life. Thank you so much for having me back. I truly appreciate it. Oh, my gosh. We appreciate you. And I want to brag to our viewers really quick because you were just featured in Home and Garden. Better Homes and Gardens magazine. I'm in a national editorial um, in, as of in the April issue. I will also be returning in the July issue featuring my beautiful Peggy Martin Rose Arch. So be on the lookout for that. There's that um, cover right there. It looks so beautiful. Isn't that phenomenal? I wish that was mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to open that, flip in, yeah. and we will find Rhonda. There you go. I am in, in her garden as well, and I'm also in Garden Gate magazine at the moment, so I'm lucky to be in three. And I just signed a deal for uh, my book, which will be released the fall of 20. Okay, so we know we're going to have to have you back for that as oh, well. Please, I love it. I love <laughs> it. But in addition to that, the yes. magazine, I know the magazines, they're like official and they've got to be super validating, but you're probably on so many Pinterest boards. You're probably on so many Instagram accounts. People really do look at you for this spring inspo. Well, as the season, seasons change, they're looking at your tablescapes for, for inspiration and you've got a beautiful one for us today. I truly appreciate that. Um, yes, I've amassed over 127,000 followers on Instagram. Congrats. So everybody come get me follow Southern Home and Farm. Um, and by the way, if there's anything you see that you like, um, please feel free, to, feel free to DM me on um, uh, Instagram at Southern Home and Farm Very cool. or my website, which is southernhomeandfarm.com. But let's talk about our um, garden themed tablescape today. Um, a lot of my followers know that I'm primarily, I'm a master, uh, Texas master gardener. So a lot of what I do is outdoor entertaining. So I always like to incorporate um, a garden theme into my tablescape. So being that we're in spring, this is what I have brought for you today. So we're going to talk a little bit about how I created this, and then we're going to go into a fun little project here shortly. Okay, I love a fun little project. But yes. what do we have? So I'm seeing a lot of yellow, which is beautiful yes. for springtime. What do you have? So for, for me, initially, I always choose a theme, which again, this is the garden theme we've chose. I always make sure that I choose the proper coloration that goes with it. So we have a lot of sages and green tones. I wanted to pop it with a little bit of lemon to bring in the springtime uh, to it as well. Uh, but I found these gorgeous plates. You guys have got stick. Look at this. They okay. are the sweetest things. Okay. Look at the botanical print on them. I just love them. Where are these from? I found these at Walmart. They are from the Better Home, uh, Better Homes and Gardens collection. Wow. A lot of the surfwear is. And this is that melamine where it's like super a lot yes. weight. It looks expensive. But it, it looks like it would shatter. But no, it's no, very it, durable. It's break resistant. Yeah. Uh, so check that out as well as the acrylic glass. So this is all perfectly fine for outdoor entertaining. Very cool. Um, so I like to choose the theme, the color. Um, I also like to layer my pieces. You'll see that also I have beautiful linen under here and then layered it um, as well. So I'm all about layering and I like to choose a focal point. So because we're on camera today, typically I would have a main centerpiece. Right here. Um, which would be um, this beautiful bowl of lemons. That would be the center of the that table. That would be to pop it. Um, great uh, ceramic container as well. That's available from Walmart too. Um, and I would put that in the middle. So that's kind of what I would do. I like to use risers. Okay. Uh, to create kind of your eye movement. Yeah, levels. Uh, yes. There are levels so it's not here. Boring. You're not just laying everything flat. Right. Um, tucked a piece of rosemary into my napkin just yeah, to give just... another garden flair to it. Yeah. So just some fun things that we have here. Nice little touch. You had also said, yes. uh, what is it? Fork. Remember you said you had told oh. me about fork Thank when you, you were doing the tablescape. Okay. Yeah. This is such a, an easy way to remember how to properly set a table. Okay, I have to I'm think all ears. This myself, okay? So think of the words F O R K, right? Fork. We're going to start off on the left hand side of the table with your forks. Uh huh. Um, the O is for the plate. Let me just move this. I don't know why that's. There. <laughs> <laughs> o is for the plate. Okay. Where the R is moving right. Okay. And then the K is for the knife. So that's how you think about. As you're fork. setting from side to side. Okay. The word fork. Got it. Um, it's a great pro tip. All right. You ready to move on to fun I part? I am so ready for a DIY because here's the thing. I'm not the craftiest individual, but I do love projects that I can make with my own hands. Yes. I find that focuses me. It soothes me. So what do we got today? You can do this girlfriend. Okay. So um, these are pressed flowers. I actually bought these off Amazon. You can press them yourself, but I saved a little bit of time today. So we're, And they came with these really cool lightweight tweezers. Okay. So we're just going to pick up any, you know, any uh, flower, any greenery you choose, however you want to lay it on your... Um, this is a piece of wax paper, by uh, okay. the way. Lay down. 
Um, and you kind of arrange it however you wish. Okay. No rhyme or re reason. Just have fun with it. No right or wrong way. That's exactly right. Okay. And then once you have everything kind of laid down, okay. um, we're going to place our wax pillar candle atop that. Okay. And then I have you have a piece of tape over there and so do I yep. over here. We're just going to roll this guy. And in theory, you'd want to put it all along so when you roll it up, it's... A of course, of right. course. But for... for Time purposes. For TV time. magic purposes. TV magic. So you want to roll that up and just tape that. Oh, okay. Up. Tape it when you go. Yeah, up. Okay, right. I got it. So you can kind of already get um, get a sense of what it's uh, like. Oh, cool. A blow dryer, which I'm not going to turn it on so it's not too loud, but I'm going to simulate. You just want to, you know, heat that up very softly. Oh, wow. And then I'm, I take my hands and I kind of work it in and kind of make it real malleable. How long would you do the blow dryer for? Uh, I mean, several minutes. And you just keep, honestly, you can uh, um, take the tape off and kind of see. But okay. you just warm it and press it. Okay. And then through TV magic, once you unfurl this and it is done. These it are the finish. something like this. How adorable and are these? these I are add and um, orange slices. So you can see also another fun thing. I always like to mix uh, faux and real in my um, all my tablescapes. You can see the real lemons down here. Yeah. And I want to pick up on the fruit theme. So um, these are lemons and oranges. I've got and maybe a little bit of apples there. Gorgeous. With some little yellow and white flowers. So I incorporated that just again to pick up on the, the garden theme. So yeah, it's a really cool tip. Anybody can do it. I know you can do it. Well, Rhonda, thank you so much. You're always such a pleasure to have in studio. And if you want to make your own pressed flower candles, we have posted the steps on our website, HoustonLife.tv. And don't forget to show us your creation on click to pins when you do this awesome DIY. Okay, don't go anywhere. Rhonda Kaiser, thanks so much. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you. And uh, Houston Life will be right back.